What's up, everybody? You already know who it is. It's Drip Guy there, and I'm back at you guys with another thing. So, in today's video, I want to talk about how Josh Giddy may have ended his career. Now, I know this might come as a shock to a lot of you. Um, as we know, Josh Giddy, he's only 21 years old. It's not like he had any devastating injury. So, I know y'all probably thinking, how did he end his career? But in today's video, we will get right into that. But before we do get into it, I want to shout out all the supporters, all the people who've been subscribing to the channel, all the people who've been liking the videos, commenting on the videos, sharing the videos. Shout out to y'all. And y'all already know, road to 500 subscribers. But without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so like i was explaining man i know y'all are thinking how did he end his career he's only 21 and he hasn't gotten injured or anything and yeah i see this title man nba looks into alleged relationship between josh giddy and a minor man so lord where do we even start man where do we even start but let's scroll down and let's read into this man let's just read into it and let me zoom in for you guys get a better look yeah that's a little bit nah all right that's a little better right there and we go read into this the nba is looking into allegations that oklahoma city thunder guard josh giddy had an improper relationship with an underage girl a league spokesperson said friday the allegations surfaced on social media earlier this week all right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. In a since deleted post, an anonymous social media user said a girl is seen with Giddy in videos and photographs was a high school junior at the time. The social media account has since been deactivated. Giddy 21 declined comment Friday. All right, let's keep it moving, man. Let's keep going down. So this is what Giddy said. He said, I understand the question, obviously, but there is no further comment right now. Giddy told reporters when asked about the allegations after practice. Thunder coach Mark Dagonaut also declined to discuss the issue after Friday's practice. Personal matter, and I have no comment on it, Dagonaut told reporters. And that'll be my comment on anything related. So y'all hear it right there and let's keep scrolling let's see if there's any more information all right and it also says giddy the number six pick in the 2021 draft is averaging 12.3 points 5.7 rebounds and 4.5 assists per game for the 11 and 4 thunder who play saturday against the visiting 76ers now you want to know something super ironic is that Giddy actually was able to play in that Saturday game against the 76ers. Now, the Thunder, they end up losing to him, but I just find it very ironic how an individual with these types of accusations, these types of accusations, was still able to play and then you have John Morant who got accusations when it came to a gun who and he was you know suspended for multiple games but that's neither here nor there I'm about to show you guys the photo that made everybody you know jump and you know what actually caused this whole debacle no first and foremost let's just take a look at this photo this is the photo right here let me see if I can get a better picture of it. Man, I don't know what this is. Whatever. But let's see if we can get a better picture of it, man. All right, so it don't look like we could get a better picture, but I'll go back to it. All right, so here go the picture right here. I'm going to zoom in so that y'all can see exactly what it says, man. And as we can see, bro, here's Josh Giddy. Of course, he got his shirt off. And here's the underage girl. And y'all see what it said on, I believe it was a Snapchat. It says, just effed 
Josh Getty. Now, if this ain't all the proof in the world that more than likely he did it, then I don't know what else to say. You got the man in a shirt with his shirt off, looking like he having a good time, and then you have the, you know, the underage girl right here. They in the same picture. Bro got his his clothes off. Like, come on. Also, there were a couple of other pictures that I don't have up right now, but let's just be real, bro. Let's just be real. I believe in innocent until proven guilty, but like what other what other things do you really need? It's not like he just took a picture with a fan and he had and he coming from a basketball game or something. This man literally has his whole shirt off with this chick. So it's like, it's kind of obvious that, yeah, he did it. Another thing that make it obvious is that, like, bruh, he literally said, I understand the question, obviously, but there is no further comment right now. Now, if you're really innocent, you go, you go deny up and down that you didn't do that shit. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. You know what I mean? But, you know, he pretty much said, no further comment and i understand in the legal sense where why you wouldn't speak on it but still like come on man like this article is saying it's a, it's plenty of videos and photographs of him with this high school junior i literally just showed you guys a picture of him with the high school junior you know with his shirt off so what else what else do we need to say and then she literally which makes things even crazier put this caption just elf the Josh Giddy. So it's literally crazy out here, man. It's literally crazy out here. And man, um, where do I even start? Like I said, where do I even start? Um, I definitely think that in this situation, the NBA should hold him accountable. We seen how quick they were able to hold John Morant accountable for, you know, having a video posted up with a gun and it's not like he was at a game or anything like that you know and as we know in the u.s you do have the right to bear arms so let's be real it's not like he was doing anything illegal this situation right here the josh giddy is actually doing something illegal he messing with an underage girl and to make matters worse it's in 4k it's in 4k the woman, the little girl actually said just F to Josh Giddy. Like, bro. Like, bro. What else do you need? What else do you need? But besides that, man, like I said, this is unfortunate. NBA, they definitely need to go on and, you know, do their job. Y'all were quick to do it with John Morant when he was posting guns. So you definitely need to do it with Josh Giddy, man. Keep that same energy. That's all I'm asking. And then um, another thing I do just want to note is that, as we know, um, Josh Giddy heals from Australia. And I do just want to, you know, let this be known to individuals who aren't from the U.S. You know, that just because you are from Australia and the age of consent in Australia is 16 to 17, as you guys can see right here doesn't mean that it's the same in the u.s that doesn't mean that at all and i do like i was saying i just want to you know note that because i do want to be fair to josh giddy at the same time he isn't from the u.s and you know a lot of people who aren't from the u.s their customs their traditions all that is different but once you do hit this u.s soul you are up against those u.s laws and you will be held accountable it's similar to if you guys watch boxing uh bo mac bo mac is terence crawford's trainer he went over to the uk with guns now if you are from the uk you can vouch for this the uk is very strict with guns i believe they pretty much banned the guns so what happened was bo mac got arrested no he brought that gun from the u.s U.S., we're not strict with guns. We have the Second Amendment. I believe that's the amendment, the right to bear arms. But once you get on that different soil, that different country soil, that U.S., that U.K. soil, 
you better not have no gun or you will face the consequences. And it's pretty much the same situation with Josh Giddy. Josh Giddy out in Australia, it made the age of consent maybe 16, 17, whatever it just said. But once you out here in this U.S., it's completely different. And you got to abide by that those rules. But, hey, man, I, this just, those are just my thoughts on this situation. If you enjoyed the video, like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the motherfucking channel. Turn on notifications and all that good stuff, and I'm out. Peace.